Hey, welcome back everyone. Be here with the Untitled Game Show.com. I'm back. I'm in chapter 16 and I'm back with another episode of Overleveled. If you guys don't know what this is all about, I'm way too high level to be playing in normal mode and I'm trying to beat it to get the true Vault Hunter mode, then to Ultimate Vault Hunter mode to try out the Tiny Tina DLC and get prepared for the new DLC that's going to come out that's going to increase the level cap once again. Alright guys, so we got to go clog up some tunnels over here in the arid nexus we are on chapter 17 now data mining if i remember correctly there is 18 chapters in the game so we're pretty close to being the game which is pretty cool but i'm gonna continue talking about what i was talking about in the last video which was stargate i said sg1 was my favorite then there was stargate atlantis which was just i'll say basically good definitely worth watching it's just not every episode's a uh, win, which I will say for Stargate SG-1, I would say that I pretty much enjoyed almost every episode of SG-1 that I had a chance to see it. For Stargate Atlantis, I had to skip through it, but I'm talking about Universe now. So, Stargate Universe was the latest show I actually checked out, and it had the most potential. Like, the reason for that, the ending was not very great. I didn't like the ending, but let's talk about the what I enjoyed most about the show. It was the characters. I really think the characters were casted very well just for the fact that I never got to the point where I was going to predict what was going to kind of happen in a sense for the characters because I was anytime I thought that, yay, everybody's going to get along, everybody's going to work out, everybody's going to be happy together, no, they try to kill each other, okay, I wasn't expecting that, they try to um leave each other on planets, that's messed up, okay, everybody's going to get home, it's going to be fine, they're going to get rid of all the civilians, nope. They get invaded. All type of messed up stuff happens in the show. And I mean, like, if you haven't seen SG, one, uh, SG Universe yet, I mean, it's kind of old now. Go check it out if you don't want to hear any more about it. But I think it's a really good show worth watching. Um, just because of characters, really. Like, characters being random and not being expected and what they're going to do next is really what kept me watching that show. I never. I always figured like their whole journey was to figure out where the ship was gonna go, and just seeing how long it took them to figure that out. Like I realized after like about ten episodes, like yeah, they're never gonna get to wherever the hell they're going. Something's just gonna happen, and the whole show is about the journey and not really the destination. Like, like that's what the whole show was about. The coolest mechanic about the show is the stones that they use to communicate with Earth. Like. That really put a nice twist on the show, like being able to instantly communicate with Earth even when they're thousands of miles away, well, thousands, I would say millions of light years away, I guess that's what they said in the show. And if you know what I'm talking about in Stargate, they have these little stones, they put them on crystals, and you get able to spot bodies with different people, and while you're in those bodies, you feel all the pleasure they feel, but you just look like them. But you can't like read their minds because you literally switch places, and they like they use that so much in the show, and I just really thought that was like a really cool thing. Like I, like, after watching Universe, which was like the newest episode of the show, you could say, uh, version of the show, like that needs to, that technology needs to be in like every freaking like ship out there. Like that is super useful, and it could be super dangerous because it'd be good for infiltration in somebody's like, base and stuff. That they definitely could use it. But the technology in the universe was pretty damn cool, so that's why I kept on watching that. And it's a really good sci-fi show, and that's what my whole thing was. I was like, I've been looking for really good space sci-fi to watch. Like, I mean, it's not just about it being science fiction. It's not about being like shows that've been on the sci-fi channel or anything like that. I mean, I watched a whole entire Target SG One season, all the Atlantis, all the universe. But before that, I watched all the Star um, Star Wars. I was watching all that episodes. And I mean, freaking loved it because I just wanted to see stuff with spaceship battles, and that's what I was really looking for spaceships and battles in, in space. That's the type of sci fi I was really craving at the time. That's why I thought, like, the show, um, the animated Star Wars show, so the Clone Wars, that was a pretty good animated show. It came on Cartoon Network. I watched it for a really long time. I haven't been able to catch a new season because I don't think it's online anywhere. Like in the sense of like, I'm not sure if it's on Amazon streaming or anything like that. If it is, I just haven't noticed it being there. So I need to go finish that up. But before that, I watched all of Star Trek. And damn, that's, I like Star Trek a lot. And I mean, all of it. Like Star Trek, Star Wars, Voyager, Enterprise, you know. The, oh yeah, Deep Space Nine, that's the one I didn't like the most. I don't, I'm sorry guys, if you guys like Deep Space Nine, that was not really for me. 
Um, yeah. My favorite is... I, I know it's not everybody else's favorite, unfortunately, but... I freaking like Voyager, man. Voyager's a good show. Voyager's the one I could watch the most. Like, I watched um, Enterprise. Damn, Enterprise had problems, man. That, game, that show pissed me off. Enterprise, like... Because, I guess... They were, the, like, just starting out as, like, Earth's newest ship and everything like that. That's what gave it out, like, problems for me, like... Yeah, they, they can destroy Enterprise, but they're gonna have to be built back, like, ugh. It didn't get to, like, the later seasons when there was basically, they had the second ship with the other girl there to help her out, to help them out with two ships now, that was kind of cool. Voyager, they were stuck in another galaxy, they were always exploring new things, they had hard decisions to make. You know, like, yeah, do we defeat the, you know, go get the Prime Directive, I, I, I like that. That was not mine. And of course, we can't, we can't forget, I mean, my man, Mr. Baldy. That's what we're we'll calling right now, man. In the 90s, that is a freaking good Star Wars as well. Star Trek. I mess up my stars right now. It's too much. I've been watching Star Trek, Star Wars, and Stargate. So, like, don't mind me if I mess up the name of the Star movies and the Star shows. <laughs> Star Wars sound, starts sounding like Star Trek when you start thinking about it too much and Star um, Stargate. I imagine you bring all them technology together. Hyperdrive, Stargates. <laughs> all that crazy stuff. Let's go ahead and go um, destroy this. Oh, I need a vehicle. Crap. Why the hell did I run away from the vehicle? Um, There's a car over here. Let's just set a waypoint and get over there. So... Only other thing that um, Jack recommended me for um, check out with like kind of like aliens and space and spaceships, is TV show wise, he told me to check out Fallen Skies. That's more for newer show. I'll definitely have had a chance to check it out yet, so I'm gonna go do that next. I'm gonna check out episode one and two, and I'll see if I like it or not. And if I do, I'll continue that series. I know a few of the episodes are already online, so that's gonna be pretty easy to do. Definitely have a chance to actually check that out. Some of the other shows they they aren't online yet, so that sucks. Um, but I have Star War, um, Star Wars, Clone Wars to finish, and I have Fallen Skies to check out. So I definitely still got some stuff with um, sci-fi and starships and aliens in it that I can still watch. I'm sure there's other store shows out there, but if they're not like good or long, I sometimes I just skip it. Like, not my thing. like I think it was Firefly the movie. I think I watched that for a while. Like that movie. Um, all the Riddick movies, I love that stuff, like, that's some cool stuff, like, I'm just saying right now, like, that's why I think I like Borderlands too. I know you're not even in spaceships, but technically you're on a different planet and all that kind of stuff. Finding the skags, alien looking monsters, I mean, in Borderlands 1, there was a big alien in the freaking vault, that was kind of funny as hell. So let's turn around right here and go ram the... Pipeline. Ooh, almost missed. Wow, talk about missing hard. As you can clearly see, I never really did like the driving in Borderlands, so. Or in Halo, for a matter of fact, because it's kind of similar. These type of warthog type driving mechanics don't. Not my thing. Not my thing at all. I can't wait for freaking man, Grand Turismo. I was on my YouTube channel, like, just myself. Like, that's the funniest thing about YouTube for me. A lot of the YouTube I upload, it's really, it's just for me and my friends. Like, my friends want me to record the match so they can watch it later. Like, that's so much of the stuff I upload. Like, nowadays is where I usually do the live commentary myself. And the only reason I do it is because people seem to want to hear it sometimes. So I just, I'm playing Borderlands 2 anyways, right? Like, this is today. I said, okay, I want to beat Borderlands 2 again, so let me jump online, beat the game, and call it quits, right? And that's what I wanted to do, but they said I have the ability to record it, so I might as well record it, and I have the ability to talk while I've recorded, because if I wasn't talking, all I would be doing is running through this really fast, because I could kill these guys in no time flat anyway. So, if somebody wants to watch it, they want to watch it. That's all there really is to it. And I do thank you for watching, like, um... And I will continue making the videos while people watch or while people don't, because I like to doing it. But back to the Need for Speed. So, uh, like I said, this is like a few years ago when I was uploading YouTube videos. I think it was a year ago now. It was Need for Speed Hopper Suit, and then the Need for Speed before that. 
I checked out some of my videos and I was like just watching the video the video has like 10 views and like I know a bunch of those views are my friends who I was playing with watching it and I was like man this just brings me back think about the ability if you had to go back and watch yourself play like Super Nintendo games when it originally came out with your friends like Street Fighter 2 if you were able to record the match of you and your record a live gameplay and record yourself playing the game at the same time and see your instant reaction and see what your friends thought about the game and you thought about the game it's like real it's like instant nostalgia to it and that's what I think is great about YouTube and being able to record your games nowadays like a lot of for a lot of people the sharing functionalities in the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox 720 won't be useful for them at all but for me and my friends um, unless something drastically happens we're okay sharing our gaming experience with random people on ourselves like that's what we recorded for because watching that match at Need for Speed was just like wow that brought back some great memories like I really liked that game like Hot Pursuit was an excellent game we had some great matches and we uploaded those good matches even the matches I lose like that's the funniest thing like a lot of videos I have on my YouTube channels are just me losing like I don't always win all the games I play at all it's just like but if I had fun and I want to remember that match I will upload it and that's just like how I like see things and like this is how I do things so that's how it is let me see how fast I can kill the big boy with the accident massive damage good guy killing him before he even fell down so let's get on this elevator get up there and we have to use this info stockade elevator oh come on Freaking Barstado. I say Barstado, Barstado, or however you would say it, because Assassin's Creed. Um, if you guys don't know too, I upload a lot of Assassin's Creed videos along with Borderlands videos, a lot of co op videos. But for right now, I'm just playing by myself because I'm just trying to finish the game. I will be back with more speed leveling, giveaways, and stuff like that fairly soon. So I definitely will do that, like always. But I want to finish the game first, get in true Vault Hunter mode, then I'll get a bunch of people to play with me. This is going to be a pretty long video, as you guys can see, because I'm keep rambling. But I'm enjoying just playing right now, so I'm just going to continue going. I'm going to go to this quest and over, then move on from here, just finish this whole level out. This is one of my more favorite levels in the game, actually. Well, I, I think it's probably a lot of people's favorite level just because they were able to come back here from Borderlands 1 because everybody remembers this area of Borderlands 1. That's such a cool ability, man. That is a good box. I think it's a cool stuff. Anyway, let's get out of here and head on upstairs. And, um, I might be start doing some new stuff too, like recording on more Borderlands games and more frequently, like whatever the hell is going on. Like, I just have a bunch of game gameplay and key videos, because like I said, I like Borderlands and it, like I don't really show it as much as I do on the channel, like I freaking <laughs> read news about it all the time. And I just realized I just said the word like like a thousand freaking times, that's weird. I hope I don't do that in most of my videos. See, I just said it again. Like, 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 man. It's not like those cliche 90s, like, girls. See, I just did it. Those cliche movies that had the uh, girls that always said, like, 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 and one of my girls, and one um, from my nerd. There is no you. There is only the never ending and the final of combat. combat. The 24 hour murder spree I of shining play metal. metal I drink the blood and eat the loot and breathe the yeah, numbers. You play, because you I am a monster man, now and forever. Storm. We take Assassin's Creed you know, against each other really too serious. Like, we compete. We don't even play the other team, we play each other. We just like messing with each other. That is the funniest thing about it. But let me head through this swamp right now, get myself hurt <laughs> real quick and go return this quest. And I'm going to thank you guys for watching. Be with the Untitled Game Show .com. I'll be back with another video real soon, just like always. And make sure you guys check out some of my other videos, like the Assassin's Creed videos that go up, the daily Borderlands videos for Borderlands Legend. Um, golden keys if you guys really like golden key videos I always have more of those thanks for watching peace out
Hey, what's up, everybody? B here with the UntitledGameshow.com, here to ask you for your support in a quick ad. Won't take up much of your time. Are you a human being? Do you shop on Amazon? If the answer to these questions are yes, then you could help make the Untitled Game Show grow. Any purchases made through the Amazon link on the UntitledGameshow.com will help us, like this pre-order of the PlayStation 4. You can click the link, it brings you right to the Amazon website, and you check out just like normal. As you see, just come here, you can bookmark the page, click on our link, brings you right to the Amazon website, search for any products you buy, and that's simple as that, guys. Thanks for watching. Be with the Untitled Game Show.com. Hope you guys are willing to support the Untitled Game Show and help us grow. That's all I'm asking from you. Buy things you already were going to buy. Thanks for watching.